about 50 people are gathered here, and all of them are looking at a range of African items, scriptures, and pieces of art that span many centuries. Some of these items are on public display for the first time. These fragments are precious, and being in their presence is a, an affective experience for people. Being in the presence of these things is, is, is as close as you can get to actually touching the past. That's Kathleen Burzak, who curated the newest exhibit at the Block Museum, Caravans of Gold. Archaeological history and research generally focuses on classical European or Asian civilizations, but Weinberg Jr. Lois Biggs, one of the docents at the Block Museum, says Caravans of Gold is aiming to fix exactly that. So Caravans of Gold, really the central aim of this exhibition, is to kind of reconstruct this history of medieval trade with Africa at the center. So the real driving force behind the show um, is this concept of the archaeological imagination. As the exhibition points out, African archaeological history is fascinating, not only on its own, but also alongside European and Middle Eastern history as well. The story is bigger than any one deep point of expertise. Burzak explained the process of condensing such a rich and complicated history into something everyone can understand. My job as the curator then was to kind of take all of that and filter and form it into a, a story, a narrative, and an experience that could be engaged with by the people who come to art exhibitions. Northwestern University Classics professor Francesca Tatarani brought many of her Latin students to tour caravans on Wednesday. She says the exhibit had an impact on her as well. We think about what we do and who we are as a result of the great things that were discovered. <laughs> so this is a way to change that Eurocentric <laughs> view of our place in the world. Nathan Ansel, Medill School of Journalism.